Oh, whoa. Oh my gosh. There is so many kids. It looks like, like a little army of children just making snowmen. Hey guys, we are back with another episode of The Royal Family, but before we begin, I just have to say thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. I am so thankful for all of you. I'm so happy that my series can inspire you guys and just like makes you guys happy. I love seeing comments like that. It just makes me so happy. I do want to do a Q&A video for you guys for 10k. So if you have any questions, you can put that in the comments below. You can use the hashtag MiraRay 10k. You can also tweet at me and use that hashtag. My Twitter is MiraRay underscore and all this information will be in the description below as well. I do have another Q&A video I did for 500 subscribers, which seems like so long ago. Those questions were mostly just like about me in general and like what I do. These questions can be like about the Royal Family series. You can ask me why I don't post my Dynasty series as much anymore, even though I've already explained that. But I will be taking questions until the 23rd of October 2019, if you are watching this years later. But anyway, I just wanted to say that really quickly. One last thing I want to say, some of you guys may know if you have seen my Q&A video that I have already posted. I do own my own company and one of my employees, her name is Carrie, she's so great. She has her own YouTube channel and it's kind of like a lifestyle channel and she's just so positive and so sweet and I just wanted to give her a quick shout out. You guys can check out her channel. It is in my description below as well. Her channel's name is Carrie Walker. So definitely go check out her videos. Don't forget to subscribe to her. So yeah, I just wanted to say that really quickly, but let's go ahead and begin. So we are at the Windenburg Royal Palace. I actually want, and it's a perfect day for this, I want a mirror. Oh, and it's Saturday, so tomorrow's Sunday, so that means the Sunday markets will be tomorrow. Or yeah, I mean, I think I can get that in this episode. It is a perfect time because I do want a Mira to go check out Selvadorada. So Jabari has offered to show her around Selvadorada just because Amira wants to learn about the different kingdoms, and Selvadorada and Glimmerbrook are the two that she really doesn't know much about. So she also wants to go check out Glimmerbrook as well, but today we are going to have her go to Selva Dorada. Jabari is going to be her like tour guide basically. As you guys can see, I don't really have other Sims living here currently. I need to add other people. Right now, it's just their family. So King Cayman, his parents have already passed away. So has Queen Zamora and Queen Zamora was an only child. And then uh, we have Prince Jabari and King Cayman. They have a sister. So this is Dahlia. Oh, I forgot to put I, I forgot to put princess in front of her name, but she is the princess of Selva Dorada. I don't have that many people here because of everyone disappearing, like the whole thing with like my whole Realm of Magic series, it was affecting Selva Dorada as well. And basically other people were disappearing because the antagonist Azula from my Realm of Magic series, she was trying to bind Victor and his family. And then she ended up taking a bunch of people because they either wouldn't answer her, even though they like had no idea who he was or she was like trying to make them disappear so she could like practice for when she did find Victor so that's why so many people were disappearing people have either passed away or have disappeared so Selva Dorada kind of is in this restoring period so we need some other sins to move over here it's probably going to end up being their children they'll probably adapt the noble titles that like Windenburg and Willow Creek and Oasis Springs have of like the Duke and Duchess and all that she has like four kids so they have a lot of kids so this will probably just be like a family land, but yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to point that out too. Anyway, okay. Amira is going to visit the Selva Dorada royal family because that's where Prince Jabari is. Oh, no, you do not need to bring all these people with you. Also, we are going to be having the Brindleton Bay royal wedding in the next episode, not this episode. In the next episode, we are also going to see the Willow Creek Palace. I know I said it would be ready by this episode and technically it is, but I wanted to add some of the furniture from like my packs and like custom content to it as well. So, oh gosh, yep, all right, we need to uh, fix this because this is not what I want. So enable free build. Okay, so yeah, that's basically what happens when you have the mod that allows you to live in Selva Dorada, does that thing where like everything disappears and it's super, super weird. Okay, but Anira, um, Anira, Amira needs to knock on the door. Also guys, so in the last episode, I don't know if any of you could tell, but I was trying to slow down just talking because I had gotten a few comments 
comments in my royalty mod video that said that I was talking too fast. So in the last episode, I was trying to talk really, really slow because I heard that if you talk really slow, it's like sounds more normal than you think it does. But when I was editing, I hated it. It felt like I was just dragging all of my words and it took so much longer to edit everything too, just because I had to like try to cut space in between things. So this is like the normal speed that I talk when I get really excited or just really happy. I tend to like speed up a little bit, but you guys can let me know if you liked me actually slowing down in the last episode or if you prefer me to just talk normally like this. If I do like another mod review that has important information that I'm reading, I'll probably try to slow down. But for the most part, I think I'm just going to talk normally. I like that I can just be myself in front of you guys. So I'm just going to talk normally. I will try not to talk too, too fast because probably good that I don't do that just for like professional career reasons. So I do need to practice that. But for now, this is how I'm going to talk. Okay, so Amira is talking to Prince Jab- Whoa! Wait! Wait, I don't remember their romantic relationship being that high. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so things with Makai. So Makai has actually, now he's able to afford his own place. So he's living in Windenburg. I do think that Amira is just so paranoid and is starting to be much more, what is the word? Oh, like superstitious. So the fact that Hannah died, I think is just kind of like a big red flag for her, but she still cares about Makai a lot. I think she's trying to pretend that these feelings with Jabari are not happening. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so it's getting nighttime. I really wanted her to see this like not at night, but Jabari is going to take Amira to go see this restaurant over here. Okay, so I'm having Amira request a table. So yeah, so they've kind of been around just the entire kingdom and we have had Jabari show her everything. So now they're like taking a break going to get something to eat at the restaurant here, which is like such a nice place too. Like this is super cool. Okay, so they are now sitting together. Do you guys like Amira's new hair? I changed her outfits a little bit. I thought it'd be cute to have her have a little updo. I thought this one, I just, I don't know, I like it. It's not crappy, like it's just like a loose, low updo. So I thought it was really, really cute on her. Amira and Jabari are talking now. Yeah, so I feel like Amira has been avoiding Makai a little bit. Like she was so, su what? is the waiter wearing? No, I'm not okay with this. Dear Lord, this woman's outfits are like, none of them are, that one's like, it's fine, I guess, but oh my gosh, that was horrible. <laughs> okay, anyway, so Amira and Jabari are talking. So Amira has kind of been avoiding Makai. She was very supportive after the whole thing happened and him running away, because she cares about Makai. I mean, like they've had a long, long history together. So she cares about Makai, but now she is starting to think like, I feel like Makai has been struggling with fitting into Windenburg. He's kind of had some mentors show him around. He's been meeting a lot of new people, but he hasn't really been able to fit in as much as he was hoping he would. I feel like it's definitely making an impact on his relationship with Amira. So I think in general, they've kind of just been drifting apart. And now Amira has a Salvadoradian culture skill acquired. So that's really cool. But I feel like Amira has, oh, okay. He was just like breathing fire. I do feel like this is a good moment for Jabari though, because since they have been around each other a lot, Jabari, I think has just developed really strong feelings for Amira. And I feel like he's telling her that he has never felt so close to someone since him and his ex fiance broke up. And he is just so in awe by how amazing she is and what she's been through. And he just really, really likes her. I don't think he knows that she's seeing Makai. I think he has heard that she's seeing somebody, but he doesn't know who it is exactly. So I feel like he is trying to tell her this before whoever she's with. He's hoping that it's not a serious thing, which technically it's not a serious thing. I feel like Amira is telling him like, thank you for telling me that. Like, I know that must've been really hard for you. There's just so much going on right now. And uh, she is telling him that she has been seeing someone, but she has really enjoyed spending time with Jabari and she just needs like a night to sleep on it and to think about things before she decides anything just cause she is going through so much right now. So Amira does have a big decision to make and she definitely is just going to have to sleep on it. She's saying like, I don't want this to ruin our night. I just need to think about it because I do feel like they 
who are wanting to see like more of Selva Dorada as well. I think Amira is going to tell him that she will bring Jabari to the Sunday market tomorrow or today, because I think it's like the middle of the night right now. Oh no, it's not. Okay, so yeah. So she will bring him to the Sunday markets tomorrow so she can show him. Although, where is the Sunday market? Do I have, wait. Oh, I should read about that more. Oh, okay. I actually have to like have the venue for that. So I'll do that a little bit later. <laughs> so that's okay. We'll get back to this. Although it does technically take a while for them to travel between Selva Dorada and Windenburg. But let's just say they like flew or something. I don't know. They have a private jet. They're so rich. I feel like they would. I do think that Amira is going to go home for the night. Think about this. Try to figure out what she wants to do. So we're going to go back to her father, King Henry. I was able to add way more kids to the Royal Kids Club or Royal and Noble Kids Club. So I do now have Princess Genevieve has, has aged up and so has Princess Kimberly. So they're now kids and they're so, so cute. I'm so excited for you guys to see them. I might just do like a quick little kids club gathering at the house while we like do some other stuff. All right, so we're back at the Windenburg Royal Palace and I have started a kids club gathering. Is this Kellen? It's Kellen guys. Kellen is here. Oh, we should probably give him like a key because he can come whenever he wants. I think, I don't know if him and Megan are going to have kids, you guys. If they do, it probably, I'm still probably going to wait a bit. We just have so many Sims in the game right now that I don't want, I, I'm gonna have to have a lot of families in the future either not have kids or just have like one kid and like really limit it. I think there is like a good amount of the generation like about to pass away. But I think when that starts to happen, then we might have more kids. So we'll kind of just have to see. But Kellen is here. I'm so excited. I miss him. He doesn't live here anymore. He's been traveling and like helping Megan with her charity stuff. So I just, we never get to see him anymore. Someone was saying that maybe Kellen should be the advisor because then, it, I mean, it has to be someone that King Henry trusts, but I feel like Kellen has tried to kind of get away from this for a while just because of him and Megan and like traveling so much. Like he wouldn't be around that much just because they do travel so much. So maybe I'll wait or let's see, who is King Henry really close with? He, okay, well, he's close with some children, like his nieces and nephews and stuff. He's also close. He's very close with Earl Jack. That is his nephew. Oh, this is also, so this is Prince Cornelius. I'm gonna change him into like his outfit because I changed his outfit so you guys could see because he was in a ridiculous outfit when he aged up. So this is Prince Cornelius. He's super, super cute. Also, we have, where did she go? We have Princess Kimberly and Princess Genevieve. They should be here somewhere too. When I see them, I will show you. This is Princess Kimberly. I need to work on her outfits a little bit more because I didn't change all of them, but that is Princess Kimberly. I think she's more of a loner is what I recall. I'm trying to think for the advisor because whoever we pick, I feel like might end up being Princess Amira's advisor too. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I will decide a little bit later. But for the kids club, so every, oh gosh, no, I need to clean this up. So for the kids club, everyone that we have here, this is Lady Hazel of Brindleton Bay. We have, of course, Princess Bellatrix, Prince Cornelius. This right here is Araminta. A lot of people do want to see each Charles and Araminta and see if they are going to get along. So I will have them. Oh, I have not downloaded this yet, but I know there's like the first crush mod where the children can have like small romantic interactions. I need to download that. I forgot to do that before I recorded this, but hopefully I'll do that by the next episode. I do need to clear out my mods folder like really badly. We also have Princess Arya here, Princess Anya, and then Lord Nathaniel too. I really need to put like a playground in the back. You know what? I should do that. I'm just gonna do that right now. I know it, well, it's snowing. Well, they can all make like a snowman. <gasps> Have a snowball fight. They can build a snow pal together. That's so cute. Okay, Amira is now, oh no, I was like, oh, she's back. No, she's not, she's invisible. But she's made it back. Let's say she's back from her long flight. Her what, like six, five hour flight? That seems reasonable enough. I don't know why they didn't just take a flight when they were looking for Selva Dorada and Glimmerbrook in the 100th episode, but it's fine. This is a game. This is not realistic. I also just want to reiterate that this is a made up world. I know that this is not historically accurate. 
because there's a lot of things that are not historically accurate, but it's a game and I've kind of created my own world and I like to have the freedom to be creative. But Amira is back and I think she should say hi to, Ke did Kellen leave before she got here? Wait, I thought I just saw him. I don't know where he, okay, so the Sunday market, I actually did go into Manage Worlds and try to make a Sunday market, but I couldn't find that venue option. So I'm going to talk to the creator of the mod and see if I can figure that out and I will get back to that for the next week. Sorry, I should have figured that out before we did this. I mean, there's already a Windenburg marketplace where, which is exactly where I think we would have it, but I did just want to show it to you guys. So sorry, I know you have to wait a little bit longer. I know I've been talking about it, but I will try to do that as soon as possible. But I think I think Kellen left. I really want it. Oh, whoa. Oh my gosh. There is so many kids. There's so many kids building snow pals. This, I don't know. Why does this look weird to me? It looks like, like a little army of children just making like snowmen. Well, they're taking care of our like bare backyard. So that's fine. Can I find Princess Genev? Is she not here? I don't know where Princess Genevieve is, you guys. Well, anyway, this is Princess Genevieve. Oh, I'm trying to see if you guys can see her a little bit, but this is Princess Genevieve right here. So whenever we see her, she'll be here at some point. But yeah, I really wanted Amira to talk to Kellen and kind of just vent about the situation. I'm gonna have her invite him over then if he's not actually here. Okay, now I have brought Kellen to Amira. So Amira is talking to Kellen. They haven't seen each other in a while too, just because of Kellen and Megan traveling. So I think they're going to go find a place just to talk and catch up. Let's just have them, yeah, let's just have them go like right here. Honestly, Amira and Kellen have just the cutest brother-sister relationship ever. I love that they're so close and they're such good friends. But Amira's telling him about just what she's been through, like with Makai and and his fiance dying and how superstitious she is and how she thinks it means something or that it's a sign and that Makai has not been fitting in or loving Windenburg as much as they were both hoping for and they've just kind of been keeping distance from each other. And then Jabari, Prince Jabari has told her that he likes her and that he's interested in her and now she has no idea what to do. So I feel like Kellen's just trying to coach her. Oh gosh, okay, well, something's wrong with his ears. I feel like Kellen is trying to coach her through this and just saying, well, you're strong and independent regardless. Like it's kind of just more, like you could really end up with anyone you want. It doesn't have to be someone who's going to support you or someone with like a good title or anything like that. And he was saying that being with Megan and doing what like she wants has been the happiest he's ever been. Like he's so happy right now. So he just wants Amira to be happy too. I think he's telling her that her and Makai have been through so much. Like, do they really want to keep doing that? They don't want to force a relationship because if it's already this hard to be together, it's going to be really hard to stay together. And you don't want that in your life. Like you don't want it to be difficult to be with someone. And I feel like this is knocking some sense into Amira and she is realizing that being with Makai has been so much work. They've been through so much. Life has been so hard for them just being together. And I feel like she's just realizing like, I don't need that in my life. I don't need that drama. We've already been through so much. So I think Amira has finally decided that she's going to break things off with Makai. I don't think she's going to immediately be with Jabari. She's gonna tell him that she wants to continue to be friends and just see where it goes, but she doesn't want to rush anything. I think it's so sweet that Kellen is like helping her with this stuff. Okay, I do think now would be a good time for Amira to call up Makai. Maybe they should just go to the marketplace, <laughs> even though it's not an actual Sunday market, but they could go there anyway. Or maybe they should go somewhere more private. But anyway, she should meet up with Makai. He does have his own apartment. Okay, yeah, let's have her go do that. She's gonna go visit Makai. All right, Amira is at Makai's new place. So this is like a Windenburg apartment sort of thing that I downloaded from the gallery. So I think what they did was put furniture on like this side and then they don't have furniture on this side. Well, we're about to see it. Oh, yep, that's exactly what they did. Okay, whoa, wait, oh. This is not really what I thought it would be. This is like a dorm. I will fix that later. If Makai stays here, we'll have to see. So I'm gonna have Amira go talk to Makai over here. Okay, so they are now in Makai's house. So I don't have to deal with any paparazzi. Okay, so, oh gosh, this is gonna make me sad. Amira's talking to Makai now, saying like, they're just asking how they've been. They actually haven't really seen each other or talked much in a while. So they're kind of just catching up a little bit. I feel like this is going to be a kind of mutual 
thing. But I mean, it's not like Makai broke up and left his life just for him. I mean, like, well, technically he did, but I feel like he needed to get away from his mother and the whole situation with Hannah anyway. So when they break up, I feel like it's not going, like he's not gonna see it like that. But Amira has to now ask him to just be friends. I think it's going to be okay. I hope this doesn't hurt their relationship. I'm pretty sure she's about to ask him. Oh, Makai, get off your phone. Seriously. Amir's just talking to herself and Makai's on his phone. Did they, did Shirley ask him to just be friends? She did. That was so anticlimactic. <laughs> that went a lot smoother. Oh, whoops. I, that went so much smoother than I thought it would. So this was an extremely mutual thing, but it was a very hard decision. I'm sure this is going to be hard for Amira, but they have now agreed to be friends. I guess. I mean, like, it seem, they seem totally fine. Their relationship, their friendly relationship has not changed. I think Makai is still going to try to make a life away from Sulani, and even though if he might not stay here, I think he will eventually move out somewhere else, and we'll kind of see where he ends up going. I think he's telling Amira, like, I'm still going to stay here. I want to be able to make a name for myself and figure out what I want to do, and not just the life that my parents have picked out for me. So, He's still gonna stay here. They're gonna remain friends. Amira told him that if there's anything he needs, then he can let her know. I feel like that was just such a hard decision for Amira to make, breaking up with Makai, because they have such a long history too. So I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. In the next episode, we will get to see the New Willow Creek Palace, and then we will also get to have the Royal Wedding of Brindleton Bay, which is so exciting. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!